Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Vinyl Reviews. My name's Jacob and today I've got a quick little unboxing for you guys. So I'm actually filming this one on my phone as opposed to my normal camera again because I've been having problems with my normal webcam functioning. So some of my more recent videos are probably going to be like this. But I got this lovely package and I think I know what's in here. So all I did is I just cut open the plastic and I just slit through this tape here. I haven't actually looked inside. So let's see what we got. Okay, that's now actually open. Got some Japanese newspaper. I'm gonna pull this out. And there's our actual box. So is this what I think it is? Looks like it. Let's see. Yeah, that looks about right. Where's the actual the actual name? What it is. There it is, SH Monster Arts. And that should say Radon. 2021. So this should be the Rodan from the single point anime. Excellent. Okay, let's get this bubble wrap off. Again, I'll just do that off camera real quick. So bear with me. So now this comes off. We got our nice monster art shipping box. Rodan, second form, 2021. Very sweet. And we can I'll get rid of the rest of this crap for now. We can somehow crack open this one, which I'm not overly sure how to do. I guess we'll slice through this tape. That'll do it. Now, hopefully this will come apart. Come on. Do I have to use the scissors for both sides? I guess I do. There we go. All right, there's our Rodan. So unlike most traditional designs of Rodin, this one's far more like a actual natural turdon or turdactyl or whatever you want to call it. This one doesn't look like the more stylized, more bird-like Rodin that we've kind of come to know and love. But I actually think that's kind of a cool change. This is more of a realistic dinosaur-like interpretation of this character, which is pretty cool because I really love these creatures. Quetzalcoatlus, if that's how I'm pronouncing it right, is like known to be the biggest one of them. And these things are just terrifying in real life, in nature, back millions of years ago. Like, there was this creature, basically a living kaiju, that looked like this, but was the size of a giraffe. Somebody's got to make a horror movie about one of these things, because I think that would be really, really cool. Because I think that would be a lot scarier than a lot of other sort of typical dinosaur type movies and designs. Anyway, we've got our box here, looking really cool. Oh man, why am I doing this one-handed? Why? There it is. So this is one of the more smaller Monster Arts figures in the line. Then we've got the Mozilla Singular Point logo there. Got a cool shot of this row down on the front. Monster Arts and then the logo all in Japanese. Really cool. What's all 22 trademark Rodan? Nice. Around the back here we got a cool poster of this Rodan and a look at the figure itself with a lot of the mini Rodans because there was a whole swarm in the show. And there you have it next to Jet Jaguar which I'm really excited to actually get my hands on that Jet Jaguar. I love Jet Jaguar especially in this anime. It was really cool. There we go, our Rodan. There he is in his clamshell package with his head torn off, as you've come to expect from Monster Arts figures. Oh well. And there's the little swarm, little wires. I don't really know how I feel about all these little wires. They look a little odd, but there's not really any other way you can kind of do that. And I mean, what other accessories is this guy meant to come with? Regardless, let's pull him out. He is really small, so that explains why this one is a much cheaper figure compared to most Monster Arts. Although, postage-wise, it did kind of add up anyway, so... Okay, I think I can open this up from this side if there isn't any tape. There we go. There's the top off. There's our figure. Look at that. 
Okay, so big wide wingspan. Hopefully, I can get them in focus. Those classic Rodin details down the chest with those little spikes. I really love that they kept that in the design. That's something that really sets Rodin apart, even though this is a more realistic interpretation of the Rodin design. More of a realistic turd on again. Then we got the head. Look at that. And I remember these had a really cool inside of their mouth kind of a design. So am I going to be able to do this with one hand? Uh, maybe not. There we go. I opened the jaw. I popped his head on the body. That jaw is actually really stiff. So be careful if yours is really stiff. Just open it up as gently as you can. As close to the joint as you can. Or maybe even heat it up if you are really worried. I didn't have to heat this up. But it was quite stiff. That's really cool, look at that. Nice airbrushing on the wings, so very simple design, but again, this is, you know, based off an animated character, so it's kind of fair that we'd assume that there's not too much detail to this design, but I do really like the inside of the mouth, which maybe I can zoom in for you guys. There we go. Ooh, I like that. And of course we have our Godzilla Ultima monster arts here, so size-wise I think they scale really well. Cool. Nice. Nice even brown color. Some articulation on the legs. It doesn't appear to have knee articulation, but he's got some sort of a ball joint system at the hips. So I'm guessing we can get him to stand. I'm interested in these wings. So the idea is I guess we can fold them up for a, a crouching position on the ground. Okay. Does that look alright? Yeah, that's not bad. I can probably fold up even better if I mess with them. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's actually really cool. Wings are really difficult to get in an articulated figure like this to, to work well. Because, I mean, picture even that, like, 2019 Ghidorah, where they just have these massive, unarticulated wings that they kind of just stuck on. Some other brands, like Reveltech, have made Rodans with, like, rubbery wings, and I have mixed feelings about those. And even the 90s Rodan that came out from Monster Arts, I'm not too happy with the way its wings function because you can barely move them and they pop out all the time. But they are getting better. This is actually pretty well done for something that's done this simply. And it feels like it's not really going to fall apart. And it stands nicely, so I do like that. Of course, got to get him to balance on the wings. And he has a fairly big head, so that's kind of tricky. They were working a second ago, but now I'm kind of losing it. <laughs> there we go. And of course, this Rodan has the double crest on his head, which is another trademark of this character, so that's really cool. Yeah, I actually, actually I'm digging that. It's a very unique version of Rodan, but it fits with this anime, I think, and the more odd designs that we have going on in this series anyway. It's not even bad as just a generic sort of pterodactyl type figure that's articulated. So that's cool. But let's look at his accessories. So I believe there's a flight stand. So there's a little stand. Does he have like a holder or something? That's the base of the stand. Uh, that's probably it. So I think Oh yeah, the, the hooks of the chest kind of hook into this, I believe, or rather the spines of the chest. And he'd stand, be stood on this. So that's cool. And now we got all the little mini swarm of Rodan. That's really cool. Paint, very simple, just brown on these, even though I do remember them being more blue in the anime. There was that smaller one that was blue, from what I recall. It's been a while since I watched it, but... These ones are all brown. That's fine, because there were definitely brown ones as well. And yeah, they look really cool. Details are not bad for how tiny these things are. And I guess you can have these around your Godzilla and stuff. And, oh, okay, they have pegs, which I guess peg into this stand, or any other kind of Tamashi stands that you have. So that's really good. Nice! I'm digging this thing. It's a... Very, very sort of small, fairly underwhelming release from Monster Arts, because of course it, he is just a tiny little pterodactyl, but I'm really happy to have this thing in my collection. 
because I don't think there really are any other singular point Rodan figures out there. Maybe like the HG figures or something like that. But yeah, I'm going to leave this review or unboxing or whatever you want to call it here. And I'd like to see you in one of my future videos. But until then, may all your vinyl be a radiated vinyl. Over and out, guys. Bye.